What's wrong with them? I don't know. When we got here, there was a bunch of throw up and he was foaming from the mouth. Did he get into something? I don't know. When I left, there was nothing on the floor that they could have gotten into and the gate was right there. I don't know if... And I asked him, it wasn't hot when we got here, so I don't know. There's... I don't know if that blood's from the fleas or from his butt. But it's, Sheesh. Ah, oh, biscuit. He's weak. I have, Emma had to... I had to pull him over here and Emma had to lift him in the tub. So he's like... And I tried giving him some water. I told Emma to throw out his food. But look, it's on this side. He doesn't want to move though. And I asked, and Lacey's fine, so. What's the matter, it. Biscuit? What's the matter, bro? <laughs> if he was fine before you left, and then when you came back home, he was like this, and that means he ate something, he got into something. I Otherwise, he would have been like this already. Somewhere along the way, he got into something. Let me go look. Yo, let me see, put boy, let me see. Oh, big kid. Let me see, ah, uh, open his mouth. Please. He does not look good, Vivian. We're gonna have to take him to the damn hospital. Let me see, big kid, big kid, let me see. What's so mad at puppy boy? Let me see. Let me see your mouth. Let me see what you got in there, bro. Oh my goodness. All right, so we just figured out what it possibly could have been. Yesterday, we ate some potatoes that had onion and bell pepper in it. Vivian gave him the, the leftovers today before she left, and I think that's what it is. I think he ate the onion that was in here, and now he's being, he's basically, essentially, it says, dogs can't have onion because it has some kind of toxin that's essentially a poison to them. And... It's really bad. Most definitely, we gotta go to the um, the dog hospital. Hopefully, it's just it's just something he ate, and hopefully, it's not poisoning from the onion. You okay, bro? You okay? You're gonna have to stay here, Lacey. We can't take you with us. Okay? Come on, ladies. Come on. Oh, okay. The inside of his mouth is all purple. Purple? It's pur like purplish, and it, it, that's one of the signs too of of, what? of poisoning. That's what I just looked up too. Look, you can see it on his lips. Look at his, the tip of his tongue. See that? I don't want to have this dude just pass out on us. I'd rather take care of that now. Even if it's nothing, even if it's just like exhaustion or just regular sick, I'd rather I take care of that. It's just exhaustion. Yeah. Rather than, rather than having him wake up and then, well, us wake up and he's just off in Neverland. Where's your homework and stuff? Because we're, while we're in the waiting room, you need to um, still do your homework. Come on, Biscuit. Come on. I'll help you, okay, bro? I'll help you. Come, Come on, bro. Come on. He wants to go right there. I don't have a problem with him going right there. Are you going to go in the back? You're okay, puppy boy. You're okay. Bruh. His little sad, depressed face. This is most definitely not how we wanted this vlog to start. But we got to deal with it. We got to take Biscuit to um, the veterinarian. And hopefully it's nothing serious. Okay. Hopefully. Look at him. He's starting to breathe hard. He's starting to breathe. I need the GPS. I don't... Look at him, Vivian. Look at him. You got the AC down there, right? I do. I have the AC on from. You okay, bro? You okay? We'll be there in 30 minutes, okay? We'll be there in 30 minutes. Come on, grab your stuff. Come on. Um, for Biscuit? What's going on with Biscuit? Um, we think he got into some onion. He's been throwing up and shaking. How long ago did this happen? Um, when we got home, like probably around 2.30. It was foaming out the mouth and... You said call poison control? Correct. Okay. If the pet ingests an onion, you're going to need to take someone to the doctor. Can I get a tag stack, okay. please? A tag stack. So this is Biscuit. He's a CPR. And he ate onions. Oh. He's throwing up and shaking. Um, he was. He stopped after we threw him in the shower for a little bit. Okay. But he was. Go, Biscuit. Go. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Here's the thing with the heart. Come on. Come on. Yeah, go. Here. Okay. All right. As you guys saw, they attended us pretty fast because obviously dog poisoning is really serious. So, um, they took him to the back pretty damn fast. You still on hold? Yes, I'm still on hold. So, what did they tell you? Nothing yet. He asked me all the questions to get information. He said he was going to put me on hold and then get back to me. It is so stressful just sitting in there waiting, waiting and waiting. Mm -hmm. We've been here for damn near three hours just waiting on them um, to check Biscuit, make sure what's going on. They told us that he's stable, but we're not exactly sure if they're doing blood work just yet or if the blood work already came back and to see if it is toxic or what's going on. But 
he is stable he's in the back and we've been here for damn near three hours and it's honestly very frustrating and stressful just sitting in there but we gotta do it you know they still haven't assigned us a damn doctor I know. we've been here this whole damn time and i literally just talked to the lady she said they haven't even assigned them a doctor you still stressed out yes. you're gonna end up having to take the girls home with you and i'm gonna end up just having to stay Finally, you think it's gonna be good, good news, baby? I hope so. I hope he's okay. You said when you got home, he didn't want to walk. You guys had to lift him into the shower. Um, after he did start walking, and even when he was coming in, he was walking. So maybe. Yeah, he didn't want to eat. They even got Biscuit's little sad name right on the door. It's Busquit. It's Busquit. Busquit. Oh, poor little Busquit. Tell me a bit more about what's been going on. Um, so we, we got home around 2.30 and she was what, foaming at the mouth, on, uh, foaming and drilling at the mouth. Okay. And there was a bunch of throw up on the floor. And was he conscious at that time? Yeah, he was um, sitting down. Um, how many piles of vomit did you find? Um, there was two, three? one by the door. I saw one by the door, one by the couch. And was it just food that was in the vomit? There was actually no food. No, it was there. just saliva and foam. Okay. Um, you know, what we can see is, you know, not only stomach upset from onion ingestion, but if ingested in a larger amount, you can see um, breakdown of red blood cells and subsequent anemia. So check this out. These are all the things that we're about to pay for. The exam, blood pressure, vet scan, pack cell, all this other stuff that honestly I really don't know exactly what it's for. Look at all the price range and look what we're about to pay. All to find out the biscuit is sick and he doesn't have poison. Crazy amount, right Vivian? You got this, right? You got this? That's in your savings? You got this? Since he's Biscuit Sanchez. It always seems so fun and so exciting when you just have to drop massive amount of money when you didn't expect it, especially when the holidays are right around the corner. It always, <laughs> always feels so good. You okay, Vivian? You look in big stress over there. Because I am. How are you not stressed? I am stressed. I just hide it a lot better than you do. And it does help that I'm behind the camera, so it's a sense of false reality behind it. Getting a headache. Knowing how much we're about to pay? <laughs> so you're going to call us? Yeah, when? Yeah, we found Chewy. Um, like really quick. It's convenient. Okay. Yeah. Is there a way that we can see him before we take off? or? So tell her Probably to look, in, look into the bag and she have like oh. something paper for the patient uh, that came with it. Okay. Five, five and a half hours later and we're finally leaving here. And to make matters worse, we're not even leaving with Biscuit because they still need to do a bunch of treatments and we they're going to call us when everything is done. And she says it's going to be a couple of hours. And that's just in case that another pet doesn't come in with an emergency. Then they're going to have to push this thing back. So. The good thing is that at least we know that he's stable and they're going to give us some medication. Actually, they're not going to give us. We paid for some damn medication. You guys saw the bill. Um, but we are going to take off for, because the girls still need to get showered. They need to eat and all that other good stuff. But <sighs> stressful day. Stressful damn day. What do you think was wrong with them? I don't know. I hope there's nothing else wrong with them. I hope it... Next time, probably be more careful giving them onion. All right, you guys, we just got home and the first thing the girls did is go straight into the shower. We are all exhausted. We've been at the damn vet from four o'clock and look, it's already about to be 10 o'clock. It is 9.54. The girls should have already been asleep a long time ago. Um, Vivian is completely stressed out for obvious reasons. Um, Biscuit's still not here because they were doing a lot of um, treatment on them. So they told us that they would call us when he's ready to get picked up. So I'm gonna try to stay up, but Tomorrow is a long day, so I don't know how this is going to work out, but I'm just going to go ahead and end this vlog because this day has just been a very stressful one, a very long and stressful one, and it's not even over yet because he still needs to get picked up. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.